You are not an ordinary person. We are the outshining of God's glory. Don't let any circumstance have enough power to bother you. The Father has nowhere to stay than inside you and cannot express himself unless through your body. So your body becomes his body. That is why the Bible says we are the body of Christ. Saudi, say, I'm a doer of the word. I am a world shaker. I live by the word. I'm born by the word. We are here to produce heaven on this earth. I produce heaven on earth. Zadiva Kasi. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory. That's why I say, don't give up. Hey! Moko seki para vuka du seki vaha. Zagu. Rebege de vezia. Vege. Yakusa ti faroski para kataya. Ah, I feel like turning water into one. <laughs> Pastor Prince. Word hearing. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now listen. Is that not powerful? powerful. It says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, says, that shall he also reap. God is not mocked. Why will he put that phrase there? What, why will he say God is not mocked? He says, be not deceived. He says, God is not mocked. Why is God not mocked? Then he says, For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. So what you reap is based on what he sows. Then it means that God can be mocked or not mocked based on what you are sowing. The reason why he says God is not mocked is because your giving can mock God. Your giving can mock God. Do you get what I'm saying? What you are giving can mock God. That means that God can look at what you have and then what you are giving to him and compare both and say, this guy is mocking me. Is that true? That's why I'm saying the seed that provokes the spirit. There's a seed or there's a sacrifice or there's a, there's a giving that provokes the spirit. Is that powerful? Is that powerful? powerful. Shout glory. glory. So your giving can mock God. Then he says, don't be deceived. He's telling us not to be deceived. And he's talking about seed here. He's telling us that don't think that when you give in a particular way, God doesn't see. He sees. And your reward, your results is going to be based on how you give. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, so God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, he says, shall, he shall reap. He says, the one who sows, go to verse 8, the one who sows to the flesh shall reap. For he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit, he's sowing to where? Yes, no, 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 you don't understand. That is why, you see, we live in a world now where people are influenced by the information that comes from the media and all that. The Christian lives by the word. The Christian is not only the one who goes to church and is born again. No. You can go to church and be very worldly. And that will take you to hell. You can go to church and be very lukewarm. There is no Christian song on your phone. But there are worldly songs on your phone. You are a worldly Christian. Your word the scripture says you are carnally minded. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So he's saying something. He says, but he that soweth to the spirit, he sows to the Holy Ghost. When you sow a seed in the house of God, the man of God stands to take it. Does he take it? Yes, sir. But in the mind of God, you are sowing to the spirit. So every seed you sow is to the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Ghost knows the seed. The Holy Ghost knows your name, knows your address, 
knows your situation, knows how much you have and how much you give. Does he know? Yes. So it is based on that that he himself makes comparison. So there are certain levels of delay that no man of God can break it. Sometimes we say delays are from devil. It's not every delay and disappointment that is from the devil. Certain delays are delays that we have brought upon ourselves by our non-giving attitude. And we have to correct it. So I'm correcting something. I'm correcting. Else if you are mocking God by your giving, who can help you? The scripture is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the Lord. No prophet in Nigeria or in Togo can help you. Because you're falling in the hands of the You are mocking God. So it's important that we go beyond the level of thinking our giving is only seen by the man of God or the account department who count. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. And understand that every seed sown to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is not a wind. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's a person. And we walk with the Holy Spirit. And we love the Holy Spirit. I've said it over and over. I say sometimes when you see us fast the way we fast, it's because we have received an instruction. Can't we eat what you eat? Come on, shout glory. glory. It is an instruction we have received. God sees his children. Then he sends a man. When he sends the man, he has to make sure the man is equipped to bless the, 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 his children. Until your life, if God entrusts you to our hands, until your life is what God has seen, we don't have rest. Okay. That is what makes a man of God a man of God. A man of God is not the one who drives a big car. So you so see, these men of God of today, they are driving big cars. The big car is outward appearance. Come inside and see. We wear suits to church. Amen. Amen. We look good. But when you come to our closet, you see a lot of difference. Okay. So if you want to see great things happen 2020, you must be an ardent giver. Somebody who sows to the ministry. Somebody who sows in the house of God. Somebody that we don't have to coerce to sow. Is that powerful? It's powerful. You see, giving is spiritual. Giving is not physical. You hold this. It's, giving is a, a spiritual transaction. Write these things down. Come on, shout glory. glory. You see, sometimes when we come like this, people are like, oh, man of God, come and just prophesy. No, when we teach you the word of God, when we teach you the word of God, and you receive the word of God, not as the word of men, as Paul said, but as the word of God, it has the ability to cause changes and make your prosperity appear to all. Amen. Somebody told me, he said, man of God, I came to your church. Somebody I'm very close to. Amen. Amen. And he said, when I came, you were teaching on the God man. He said, from the day you taught on the God man, all the Sundays he came. After the teaching, he said, from that time till today, my frights for witches disappeared. Glory. So whenever you mention about witches, you say, ah, you are still talking about witches now. Do you know who we are? Ah, he said, it just left him. Till today, no touch, no prophecy, no thank God for prophecies. Amen. 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 But thank God for his word. his word. When you receive the word of God, that's why we give you his word. Shout glory. Glory. Francis, stand up. You've been in this church for a while. Tell us. You were talking about how you, you, you didn't like going to church. What happened? Just briefly. Um you know, Barbara is my cousin. Mm -hmm. So one one of the those days, Eddie invited me to their house. Mm -hmm. so when Quickly. I went, you know, Eddie told me to, I should I should be coming to church. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, as for church there, you know, it's not my type. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, I should come. Mm -hmm. But my first encounter, mm -hmm. I had a change of mind. I have to come to church. I've just been, give it up I've for been the to Lord. so many churches too. Mm -hmm. But when I came here, I always tell pastor, I always tell pastor Obed that I'm not going anywhere. My wife is here. Is that not powerful? Every, every oh. Come on, shout glory. glory. But you see, receiving the word is very important. Whatever we do in this church is very spiritual. See, see what I'm telling you is for my heart. Sometimes I pray for everyone. I'm telling you that God, I pray for everyone. Sometimes you see, when people are in church, if it is not, or I've been in church, I've not received a testimony. This, 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 this. 
Then they are watching, as you are preaching, they are watching you after a period of time, they get tired of the word and they begin to sleep. <laughs> what we do in this church is very spiritual. Very spiritual. There is nothing religion in this church. Amen. Amen. Very spiritual. What we teach is spiritual. What, when we prophesy is spiritual. When we even touch is spiritual. When, haven't you heard, did, did you play that video? When the people say, we just passed by mommy and mommy said, I see this. Is, is it not spiritual? It's very spiritual. How's when you pass by me? I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> that glory. glory. So it's very important. It's very spiritual. Oh, Johnny is here. Johnny, stand up. I want to show you something. The first time he slept in our house, according to him, he had a dream and he was fighting with some demon. What happened? So, mm -hmm. the first day mm -hmm. I slept in Papa's house, mm -hmm. you know, before when I, I, I have certain dreams, mm -hmm. um, when, like, say, an attack, mm -hmm. for instance, I'm being attacked and mm -hmm. they overcome me. Mm -hmm. But the first day I slept in Papa's house, mm -hmm. I, I had a dream and you know, like in my area, mm -hmm. there was this there's this boy there who uh, you know kind of um, like troublesome. Mm -hmm. So I saw him fighting with some people, mm -hmm. and I went there trying to stop him. Mm -hmm. And in his hand, uh, it was something like magic. Mm -hmm. And it was like, if I don't go, he's going to you Use know the magic on magic you. Call me. Mm -hmm. And then I said in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Immediately he vanished. Mm -hmm. Is that powerful? So I was with him when he said. Today I have a dream. Today, today this dream. And he told me, I was like, that is spirituality. There was, was he attached? No, sir. He's been, he said his mother was sick. The day we were fasting, we were praying. His mother was sick and dying. When we were praying, he came to join us. We were praying. All the pastors, he came to join. We were praying. Since the mother was at the point of death. Whilst they were praying, they were praying, the mother revived. Ah, yeah. Then the next day, they called him. It, 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 there is no formula to the supernatural. Yeah. Come on, shout glory. glory. Very important. So when we give you an instruction, do it. Do it. Do it. Don't just sit down and say, oh, the man of God is saying this, the man of God is saying, no. It's very important because whatever we do is spiritual. Give the microphone to Gabby. Gabby, stand up. You had a dream. Yes, Papa. You had a dream. Yes, very well. And you saw me. Yes. And what happened? Hmm. Okay, in the dream, mm -hmm. we, I don't know, you and I in mm -hmm. the congregation, we, mm -hmm. we were having a distant prayers. Mm -hmm. And at a point when we were going, you mm -hmm. told me, Gabby, dig out this, I don't know, dig, there's a hole here, like I should dig a hole here. Uh -huh. So I took a cutlass and I dug the hole. Mm -hmm. When I was digging, mm -hmm. I saw this thing, what was the name? things which were like vegetables mm -hmm. so i was digging and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. you told me that nah like they buried this thing to look into my future my future mm -hmm. and you were shocked then eh? i was so shocked is that powerful i was so now, shocked. now listen let me tell you something when you see things are not working don't blame god ask him father why is this thing not working there are people have told pray at night in your house they sleep <laughs> they will come back to you and say man of god i don't know why it is not working it's not working. It's an instruction. Go and wash in Jordan seven times. It's not an instruction. <laughs> I was praying November to December. I was interceding for the church. And in the prayers, I tried mentioning his name. I saw his face as I was praying. So I wanted to mention his name and intercede for him because I've been praying for them. And I tried to, from 3 a.m. to about 5 just to remember his name. And mention it. I said, Holy Spirit, this is the face, but what is the name? Mm. Nothing happened. No name, no name, no name until five. Because at that time I was praying for your mother. Is she here? I was praying for mommy. We had come to church. When we went to the I want to show you, shall I show you something? When we went home, when we, in the church, I saw the spirit of death. So I was just looking at her. Look, I said, ah, I didn't tell anyone. And I went home. And I saw her face. When I sat down on the bed, you know, I, was, I was in the hall when my wife came and then called me that she come. Then I came. Then I said, ah, don't you see this thing on this woman? And I said, I saw it today. Then she said, I also saw it today. 
I said, go and sleep. <laughs> Amen. So I was praying for her. After two hours of praying, that day, that, that building, my building did not come down. It didn't come down again. <laughs> come on, shout glory. glory. But as I was in praying for her, you see, after the prayers, I went to his side. So that is how we, we pray in the spirit. So you see, pray for this way. I can see your face. Then as you pray for her, I begin to pray for you. That is what we do. That is one of our businesses. <laughs> Come on, shout glory. glory. But I tried remembering his name, Gabby's name, till 5 a.m. Pastor Robert, I couldn't remember. Then after that, after the prayers and all that, I was very troubled. Ah! Then the Holy Spirit said to me, you know why you didn't remember his name? I said, no. His name has been hidden in the spirit. He says, so anyone who says that I want to help you happily will not help him again. Is that not what you are going to? Happily. Did I tell you? From November to January. So come to, I, I was looking for him to come to church. God won't bless you in your home. The blessing that will happen in your home will begin in the church. Through grace. grace. Shout glory. glory. So when he told my wife that dream, this year, 20, January 20, I said, do you remember what I told you about him? That his name has been hidden. So it is not prophetic. But your name has been hidden. Is that true? <laughs> one of one. There are times we do intercessions. So from January, from this November to December to January, ask them. I said, Gabby, that young man, don't I talk about Gabby every day in the house? When I begin to talk to you in, about talk about you in the house, there's something about to happen. Stay tuned. Your ever inspiring question and answer segment, Ask Pastor Prince, is back on your screens. Today we are answering a question from Shadrach. He says, Hi, Pastor. My big brother was a staunch Christian. Later in his life, he got depressed and mentally ill and committed suicide. Will he go to hell? It's a concern to me. Will a Christian go to hell for committing suicide? Ask Pastor Prince shows every Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Send all your questions to the comment section on our Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube pages. You can also send us questions on WhatsApp. Plus 233-20921-6523. You are blessed. So when he said he had had a dream, I said, this thing has happened. That is the deliverance. That is what? Deliverance. So what, what we do is spiritual. Did I come to your home? No. How did you see me? It's the Holy Spirit. So when we are talking about you sowing to the Spirit or doing things that is spiritual, don't take it lightly. We may, we may be very small, not very bearded and all that. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference. What is important is the Holy Spirit we walk with. Come on, shout glory. glory. Take us to Hebrews chapter 11, quickly. So it's very important if you want to see, follow what we tell you to do. We say come to church. Don't stay in the house. Don't let us be calling you. Come, come, come. By the time you come, it's a special meeting. Then you go again. Then by August, when your landlord is about to move you out and you have nothing to do, you have no money, then you come again. Because you need a, a very serious major breakthrough. <laughs> So it's very important the things we do spirit when we give you instructions pray at night pray at night fast for three days fast for three days not everything you must come and say fast for three days because i saw your auntie when your auntie was doing it it's not necessary what do you need freedom shout glory, glory. hebrews chapter one verse four quickly i want the reason why i'm telling them this i'm telling you people this is because i want you to see how god sees what we do in our givings how God does what? Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. By faith, Abel 
offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Is that powerful? Yes, this is Hebrews, written by Paul. It means that Paul had a revelation of what Abel did. How did he have the revelation? Through the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost, if you are here, wave your hand and say glory, glory. glory. The Holy Ghost spoke to Paul that Abel offered an excellent sacrifice than Cain. Did they sacrifice? That's why I said God is not mocked. He knows what you are giving. Cain gave. Abel gave. But God said Abel's sacrifice was what? More excellent than Cain. Because Abel gave his best. Cain gave whatever he wanted. Why would God ask them for a sacrifice? Why would God not ask them to do something else? God has interest in our sacrifices. And I'll show you why. By faith, then he says, listen, God testifying of his gifts, and by it, he being dead, yet speaks. The only person who, apart from Jesus, who died and was speaking was Abel. He died and his blood was speaking. But look at this, God testifying. Who testifying? God. How will God testify of a person's gift if he did not see it? If he did not watch him? Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. So God testifying of his gifts. God was the one who was giving record of the gift Abel gave. If God is giving record of what you give, what will he say? Is that powerful? Yes. So all this going to house and say, man of God said we should give this. Hey, man of God said we should give this. God testifying of his gifts and by it he being dead yet speaks. The one giving the testimony was God. Will you shout glory? glory. Because God is interested in our sacrifices and our givings. There is a reason. The scripture says God destroyed the whole earth with a flood and found Noah and his family righteous and saved them. After he, because of time, I just want to, after he saved them, the scripture says that Noah went to make a sacrifice to God. When Noah made the sacrifice to God, the scripture says God smelled the sacrifice. He did what? This one says God was testifying. In Noah's case, God smelled the sacrifice. He smelled it. This is powerful. Then by a man's sacrifice, he said, as long as the earth remain, says, seed time and harvest time will do what? Will never cease. Then he says that summer and winter will do what? Will never cease. That pronouncement God made because of the sacrifice of a man still holds today in a technological world. Nobody has been able to make the sun become moon and the moon become sun. They can make a man a woman. Because God did not say that one. <laughs> when we were sacrificed. Is that not powerful? Yes, <laughs> you see? So it's very important. God smelled it. The scripture says that Abraham walked with God. God told Abraham, leave your father's house. He left. Listen to this very carefully. Is that not powerful? Yes, Abraham, leave your father's house. Abraham left. The Bible says he was wandering around in deserts, according to Hebrews, the revelation of Paul. Genesis says that oh, he went to Egypt and all that. Paul says that he was wandering in, in goat skins and, and sheep skins and all that. God appeared to Abraham several times in visions until God finally appeared to him as a man. Is that powerful? powerful. Yet God never said, Abraham, I know you love me. When Abraham, Sarah conceived and God told Abraham, Abraham, take your son. He says, your only son. He says, which you love and sacrifice. And Abraham took his son, put him on the altar to sacrifice him. God said, stop. When Abraham was going, God was watching. When Abraham was climbing the mountain, three days, an old man climbing the mountain, God was watching. When he put Isaac down, God was watching. When he was about to sacrifice his son, God said, stop. An angel appeared and said, stop, stop, stop. Then he stopped. Then the voice said, now I know that you love me. Now I do what? Who said that? A man of God. To who? Now I know that you love me. 
Who was talking? Was that not a testimony? I know that you love me. By myself have I sworn that in blessing I'll bless you. By a man's sacrifice, God swore by himself. Hebrew says that because God had nothing to swear by, God was so great. God, oh God is so great that he had nothing to swear by. When he saw what Abraham did, he had nothing to swear by. He looked around, nothing was greater than he himself. No angel. He did not swear by angel. He says, by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. Hebrews chapter 6. It says, God swore by himself that he would bless Abraham. Amen. Was it by prayers? No. It was by sacrifice. Giving. An expression of your love to God. So it's very important. Your sacrifice provokes God. It provokes the spirit of God. Now listen, listen, listen. Come on, shout glory. Glory. When we pray, we pray to the Father. In the name of Jesus. We have access to the Father in the name of Jesus. Or through Jesus, we have access to the Father. The one who gives answers is called the Holy Spirit. The Father hears us in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost answers us in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost is God on earth in man. Who is the Holy Ghost? He is God on earth in man. Or God in man on earth. That's the Holy Ghost. Shout glory. glory. It is the Holy Spirit that answers. It is that same Holy Spirit that when you make a sacrifice, you make a sacrifice to God. The Holy Spirit watches the sacrifice. Then he does what he will do or will not do what he will do based on that. A church cannot prosper. A church like this. We cannot prosper beyond our givings. Let me tell you why. Because when a church like this give, we give to God. We give towards the propagation of the gospel. We give. Oh, say I give, I give. When a church gives, in the mind of God, the church has found a purpose, a godly purpose for their money. Stay tuned. Hello. Welcome to Changing Your World with Pastor Prince. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's a blessing to come your way this time. You see, the scripture says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, it is who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. It says God wants all men, not some men. All men, including you that are not born, you are not born again, I'm speaking to you. He wants all men to be saved. Why? Because until you are saved, you are still under the dominion of darkness. You are still under the dominion of the devil. You are identified with him and his nature of sin. You cannot stop sinning unless you are born again. That's why Jesus said you must be born again. So God wants all men to be saved. When you are saved, you are identified with the Lordship of Jesus. When you are saved, you are planted, placed in the kingdom of his dear son. You are placed in Christ Jesus. And it's a great privilege to have an association with the Lord Jesus. So if you are not yet born again, this is an opportunity for you to be born again. Confess this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you were raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for coming into my heart. Amen. And if you are saved, you need knowledge. You need knowledge. But I pray for you. I pray in the name of Jesus that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. That you'll be flooded with light. That the spirit of wisdom and revelation will be operational in and through you. In the name of Jesus that you may come to the knowledge of the truth. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release the blessings of the spirit on your life. I command healings to take place right now. I speak to every spirit of infirmity. I command you come out of anyone's life. Every sicknesses, spirits of infirmities, spirits of cancer, spirits of tumor, tuberculosis, come out in the name of Jesus. I release healing. I minister healing into your body. I minister healing into your bones in the mighty name 
of Jesus. I release miracles on your path. Miracles in the name of Jesus. I release your testimony in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Glorious things are spoken of you. Till we come your way next time, remain blessed.